This podcast solely serves informational purposes and no content within this publication is intended to be or should be interpreted as investment advice or a suggestion to buy shares in the highlighted company. You're watching BizTech Markets. Hello and welcome to Weekend Markets. It is Friday the 20th of September. It's nearly the end of the summer. Uh, what a great summer it was, Steve. Well, it's always summer here. We don't have any seasons, as you know. It's uh, always sunshining, not only inside, but outside too. And uh, I see that you're still wearing the same hat. Um, is, is, can you, do you have anything to declare about um, how you acquired that hat? Uh, <laughs> I went to a hat shop and I paid my money and I grew, you know, procured a hat. Uh, I, think, uh, I think I told you before, when I created the channel... I wanted to try and I don't know, just do something that was different. So I decided to uh, to buy um, what some people call a cowboy hat, but it's a Panama hat. Uh, I'm more interested in about your headgear. Have you actually had a haircut or not, or is it just slicked back a bit more? Uh, well, I basically um, uh, the the mullet part has been um, reassigned. <laughs> well, to the top. <laughs> That's just called the comb over. I wish I know the comb over is still there, but the, the mullet has been slightly. Uh, well, what did you do? Have three strands taken out? Reduced. It's been reduced because um, I, it was just uh, it was getting out of control. You know, it was, it was starting to tickle the back of your neck. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. So uh, um, I don't get the same happy reactions from people in the street now, but uh, there we are. I, but I have, to, I have to say, bearing in mind that you only have it done once a year. Um, it doesn't look like you've had a major trim. No, no, it's just, it was literally just a few, you know, just a, an inch or two off the back. It's, it's, you know, I, I'm going for the silver fox look, as you know. But that's got nothing to do with the length. <laughs> that's just that's to do with the shade. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's more a character that you uh, you aspire to be, the silver fox, you know, 58, that, that demographic, you know, that I just, you know, I love, I love those Generation Xs, you know, fantastic people. Well, uh, yeah, well, my dreads, I'm sure my dreads will go great at some stage or other. So, um, yeah, no, I, I think this week I just really enjoyed the uh, all the gifts and uh, stuff that Keir Starmer has got. You know, it's just, uh, but I think, you know, we, we know that he's a champagne socialist. You know, we, we already knew that. I mean, the whole point of being a socialist is is that, you know, there's a champagne element to it. So once you're fine, once you're fine yourself, like all the lobby actors and everything else, then you say, oh, the people on the street, we must feed them. You know, become you turn into sort of Marie Antoinette, you know. And, you know, oh, this, you know, the children have to be educated. And old people, they have to, they, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then look up. Well, I, well, I think it sounds like the, the biggest um, champagne socialist, bearing in mind, I, I don't know Starmer's full background, but as the DPP, I would have guessed that he didn't come from that much of an unprivileged background. But Angela Rayner, I mean, she's come up right from... Uh, the bottom two Manhattan apartments, right? Penthouses in Manhattan. Yeah, no, no. It's just, I mean, literally, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, obviously, she should have a good time because she, you know, she deserves to have a good time because she's come from such a, uh, in a straightened uh, background, and it was just awful. And she must have, you know, just sitting there looking out her, looking out of her council flat window and everything else. I mean, there's nothing worse than that, you know, free accommodation. Well, she could have turned herself to something else. She could have written, um, I don't know, wizard stories or something. That would have probably been better, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But she's no, she's deputy prime minister, and uh, very. I mean, all you know, it's fantastic, really. But they just she got two jags as well, do you know. Yeah, but they can't. The things they can't help themselves. I mean, obviously, let's say tomorrow, you know, the government just says Steve and Zach, right? You're in charge. You know, uh, Zach, you can be chancellor, and Steve, you can be prime minister. We're we're not going to change our style. But for some reason, as soon as people get into power. I don't know. Zach. Don't... I, 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 I think that someone within uh, one of your clubs would probably donate some money towards some new clothing for you. You come up with a new different jumper. I'm I don't sure. want any. And you'd accept it. I know what you're like. Because you I don't want capital. So no, I, I mean, all right, let's say if I wanted if I wanted anything like a freebie, right, I'd love to have, you know, tickets at Lords or Wimbledon or something like that. But um, you know, I, I could go, you know, I just Oh, you're not looking for a new Jean Paul Gaultier suit or anything? No, I like I like my. I think I don't remember what brand it is, but uh, it may be Marks and Spencers. I've got my uh, my Rolling Stones. I can say, what have you got on now? You got your Rolling Stones T-shirt. I've got. I mean, that's it, it, even if I was worth a billion pounds, it would not make any difference. I'd still. Where's have... the uh, Where's the black polo neck gone? The you know the uh, dairy milk. I've not seen that for a while. I don't want to because it's so tight now. I I, I would be strangling yeah. myself by wearing it. <laughs> 
we've been eating too much dairy milk. <laughs> yeah. So uh, no, no, it's just it's 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 terrible. It's terrible, really. But uh, no, it's just it's one of those things. You know, power just corrupts people. They just go bananas. You know, I'm prime minister. I'm doing. You know, why? What's the? Th You're just a servant of the people. Well, but he's you know he's prime minister. I mean, yeah, but I, I, I guess though he's quite annoyed that his um, <laughs> in effect, his secretary earns more than him. I uh, yeah, but seventy four grand more. And after, grand, tax, think, after it? tax, it makes. I mean, like it's like one hundred and seventy grand, which probably means you're keeping what eight or nine, something like that. Oh, well, it's not a lot, is it? I see Dominic. Dominic Cummings had his word, didn't he? He had his uh, his two penneth in. Your yes, friend, he he, you know, he he came out of the woodwork or wherever he lives. Um, so no, that was, that was <laughs> under the, under the bridge with the other trolls. <laughs> yes, he yes, in fact, he was a good example of the power not going to his head. Right, apart from that, when he got lost and he was checking his eyes, he was always wearing you know filthy clothes. Oh, I don't know. He did. He did think he was above COVID, didn't he? At one stage, when he you was know, I'm just saying that, but he was always just wearing very ordinary clothes. I mean, he was wearing, you know, what I'm wearing or what you're wearing. Well, so, so, so if if we if we did come to power, would you be more of a um, Dominic Cummings? That's how I foresee you. Yeah, well, just a scruffy vagrant look. You know, I think that's that's right. <laughs> no, when you say vagrant, you mean silver fox. Yeah, silver. Yeah, a, 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 a scruffy silver fox vagrant type person. Yes, yes. <laughs> Nothing would change. I mean, I wouldn't even buy more books to make myself look more intellectual in the background. You know, I wouldn't even do that. <laughs> see, I've been to your place. I know that. that I know what people can't see. There's that's actually wallpaper. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. Now that's a, yes, a screensaver type thing. But uh, <laughs> no, I, I think the reason we're talking like this today is because I was thinking about the market, and I think you know when we were just because you know, obviously we planned this. Uh, we planned this weekly um, uh, stock market and with well, with military precision. <laughs> with, yes, exactly, and um, and so literally, I could see that there was you had literally no interest whatsoever. No, uh, there was nothing to talk about apart from uh, taking the Mickey out of the government. Well, we can talk about gold. Can we? Well, it's got to two thousand six hundred and whatever it is nine and or something like this. Moment two thousand six hundred and six point five five as we speak. Right, okay. all-time high. Yeah, no, no, it's uh, it's it's all. I mean, I I think it's probably one being one of the smoothest uh, journeys I've seen in in any market. The only problem is it would took about ten years to happen, and it could have gone up any time between, like, say, two thousand and twelve or eleven. Uh, had the big breakthrough two thousand, but it just all of a sudden did it now. It didn't do it. Through well, we've had the big we had the big interest rate decision, didn't we, on the Fed on Thursday, which has triggered a lot of things. I mean, the pound's flying, right? I think it's one thirty three, is it now almost? What what There's nutcase? Yeah, but I want to say what what nutcase would buy the pound? Well, I, I'm with you. I'm sort of you know longer term. I'm not convinced that it's going to hold, but um, but we shall see. I mean, Bailey yesterday sort of tempted more cuts this year, didn't he? But wasn't brave enough to do one yesterday. So Great we'll see what goal. happens. I mean, it, that's just madness. I mean, as I, I think I've said everywhere, when have we ever had interest rates 3% above inflation? I mean, it, it's complete madness. Well, it's, it's the norm now. <laughs> it's, it's complete. I mean, it, it's completely nuts. I think, you know, it's just like that was, you know, there's one day after the uh, ERM debacle when, you know, the inflation was 12% and the interest rates were 15 or something. But When it, Mr. Lamont was in power. It, it must, I don't know where people get the money to pay their mortgage. Well, you don't have a mortgage. I mean, you know, you you um, inherited no, no, your I'm, house. <laughs> I'm a I'm a mortgage person. I'm I'm there paying my mortgage diligently every. In fact, when I paid off my mortgage, that will be the end of my working career. So, in what in fifteen years' time, then? Exactly. Yes, I think that's how long it lasts. Yes. But you'll but you'll carry on with this this particular show, obviously, because we're not paid for it anyway. So it's not as if there's any we're remuneration. Not, we're not sponsored either. I just can't believe we haven't got some benefactor somewhere who said, you know, these just just taking pity on us, just to buy some new clothes so that we, you know we're not wearing the same clothes every week. Are you you say, you'd only go to the second. Are you going to Claire? What, not Claire Rayner. What's the, that's the wrong one? What's the second hand shop? So it's, it's a Sue Rayner or something like that. Not Claire Sue Rayner. Rider. Sue, Sue Rider. Sue Rider. That's what Claire Rayner was the. Uh, <laughs> God. Now I can see why we don't get any sponsorship at all. Because, I mean, that was a that was a bit of a vault fass on the. Uh, I thought you were going to say Angela. Freudian slip. Yeah. So uh, no, no, because you, you're, you're not. You don't live in the country. You don't know what you're talking about. See, you're not. Oh, I know. I, I shouldn't really be doing this show. I should be doing something about Singapore, Southeast Asia. 
Well, yeah, that'd be really exciting, wouldn't it? So have you, st- <laughs> have, you st- have you stopped doing all your uh, coffee and uh, cash and all well, that? Well, the, the cash and coffee stopped because it was it was just... I, mean, I think I explained this before. That we, there was a lot, a great deal of effort into really quite, quite a limited... Um, so I, I did, you know, I did, I did thirty shows on the trot every day on day, but it didn't quite work out. But no, I've sort of, I haven't done much over the last six weeks. Uh, I'm still, you're just, just, still sla- you're just slacking. You know, I, I'm, you're just slacking. Now. Well, I'm, I'm doing other things, but um. Well, I what? Looking out I'm, the window. What do you do? <laughs> looking out the window and see what's going on. I'm, I'm creating. I'm, I'm, I'm coding an app at the moment, so we'll see how that comes up. But I've got a couple of, um, I've got a couple of things coming up, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, but. Uh, but I, I, you know, the, the small cap stuff as as individual videos, they're you know they're only as good as or only as well, the, the the extent they're of the viewing is George only as followed. Sorry, they're only as good as George Roach, right? Well, he's you know, he, and he's he gets the most, you know, but uh, but not the, not the much has come out of him recently, right? So he, I know it's he's 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 just he's disappointed. Yeah, that's been disappointing. Well, I think I think to to be, to be fair, I I think it came out. Um, Last week, I think it was maybe maybe late last week that he, he did actually his his um his his partner passed away, so he uh, he did have um, some personal reasons why he hasn't been um you know showing his face recently. But um, right. I'm sure that'll change at some stage or other. Okay, well um, I just want to go through the uh, for, you know for just for the you know like a token gesture, right? Yeah, you didn't give me any homework this week. I don't know what we're going to be looking at. This, I don't think I don't think it'll make much difference to the uh, to the substance of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? That my my contribution is a futile. No, no, it's just, well, it's all there. We, I mean, our, our viewing figures they 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 collapsed last week. I don't know what I don't know what what. Well, I, I think I have a reason why. I think I know why that was. Well, because I we think were it's both because, on the show. No, I think it. I think it's because both Saturday and Sunday I didn't send the reminder out. I didn't send a you know if you missed this you should watch this. So we didn't have that Saturday and Sunday pickup. I'll yeah, make but, sure that's yeah, done. But this people week. should just be waking up on a Saturday morning just thinking. Well, there should be they, there should be an alarm Whereas going off, right? Saying weekend I mean, markets be, watch now. It should be a habit. Yeah, but it should be a habit. You know, like Pavlov's dog or something. They, I mean, the, 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 you know, their watches or their alarms should electrocute them if they don't watch it. So they should know that it's uh, it's on. And <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's uh, so. I mean, gold. It's been the easiest the easiest trade ever, right? I mean, is that is that a fair thing to say? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> unless you're hummingbird resources, where obviously the gold price has no impact whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that, that's just you know that to, to conflate the two is just ridiculous. But they had a little spike, didn't it, um, early on in the week when they? No, said there's that obviously they were, there's, there's obviously some canny um, chap or chapess there. Every time every time it goes through ten p, oh, I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell a lot. Yeah. You know, it's going to be. You know, this is not going to end well. So I'm going to sell. It's amazing. Well, at some stage or other, they should they should say that the Carissa mine is commercially productive. And you would hope to think then, you know, if if Dan's listening, and I'm sure he uh, I'm sure he does. I know he's an avid listener to this program. Then, uh, you know, now he's is the time. The, he's one of the eight. Say again. One of the eight people who listen. It's, it's brilliant. Really. <laughs> well, I think he watches it twice. Yeah, no, I, I, keep, I, I do keep watching it, you know, from different IP addresses just to try and boost the uh, <laughs> <Do you? laughs> you know, McDonald's in uh, Hoburn and then McDonald's in, uh, Ch- you know, I, I do track it. I do, tra- I do track I, it. Yeah, you I, you, I, you I just, turn it off at the same point every time. Yeah, exactly. I just laugh at my own jokes and then and then I go to the next one, you know, and stuff like that. It's, well, it's, I did. I, was, I did. I did have a conversation this week with. Um, um, Malcolm Parley from that from where we, we interviewed last week because he was in. Oh, did you meet? Did you meet him? Yeah, we did. We had we met one evening and had a big hug. The wine, which was quite nice. Oh, really? Uh, but he, he didn't tell me yeah, about he that. Did, he did say that uh, <laughs> when you when you spoke to him about uh, doing uh, last week's weekend markets, you did say to him that you're the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. And I said, "Well, you mean pull up at him, <laughs> at him." Right. Okay. So on uh, the other the other stock, um, the other stock, uh, we were, there's hardly. I mean, literally, there's hardly any stocks this week. You know, I think the only one that people look at probably is uh, Global Petroleum, uh, maybe a bit of Blackbird, Lexington, but it's just uh, you know it's very very thin. The the, the stock actually uh, that has some interest is Mobile Streams because I cover the shares in the Bulletin Board Heroes, and I said, well, I think the shares will go to you know like point one two, but you know, with that company, uh, there's always a chance of a fundraise, right? And um, then wow. I got a call from the company saying, um, 
you know, you, you, you're, you're probably incorrect. So, uh, so it was interesting that, uh, you know, that they are fully funded and uh, allegedly, and that, you know, the recent share price rise uh, looks as though it can have legs, which is, which is great. This is uh, oh, this is um, this is this mobile stream. Yeah, this is mobile stream. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that was, and it, it just shows it shows what ha can happen if, you, as a small cap, you have your funding sorted out. That's I think. Well, yes, I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Which you know, I, I guess you can say is a similar principle to um, total minerals, right? Um, you know, their, their their share price isn't necessarily going up a great deal, but um, you know, the lithium price has had a bit of a kicking recently, but it's um, but it is fully funded. Yeah. Um, so the, the yeah, but then it's, yeah, but it's written. yeah, I mean it's fully funded, but it's just like why? So why have the shares come back from point six five to point four five or whatever it is? You know, no, it's, 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 you you can't you can't you can't so you can't you can't make that judgment because where where it was at point six five um, and and slightly above was when it was it was still um, I won't say securing the funding, but the funding hadn't been received yet, and there'd been some delays in it, so there was some uncertainty. Um, and then it, then it basically dropped down because um, everybody knew that the project was at least a year or so off once the funding came in. But the point I'm trying to make is when you look at a lot of the other lithium miners that have dropped based on the lithium price, this is just holding firm because there isn't, you know, there is no, there's no threat of a, of a raise. It's just, it's just hold and wait. Um, my concern is that it's, it's, they, they've committed to production or first production by the end of this year, which of course is only three and a half months away. So and the equipment they 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 need to build the plant is only just arrived on the site. So you know I'm not saying that there's going to be a delay, but there's got to be risk in there. So at some stage or other, you might see some volatility. But the point I'm trying to make is that to your point a moment ago, if the companies, if these small companies are fully funded, there's going to be less volatility because there's less risk of a raise. Yeah, no, it's it's you know I think you know the the magic words in an RNS you know that we've got we've got no debt. I think uh, like say for instance I'm just plucking a, a name but I can remember I think the Prospects Energy has no debt but hasn't done hasn't done it very very much good either. Um, but it, so it is it is a you know it should be something where a company says we've got no debt you know you're off to all there's no 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 plans to fundraise uh, you're off to the races. But unfortunately you know in the in, this, in the small cap area. That every you know anything can be the excuse to you know to get the share price down, whether it's delay or management or you know whatever you know the macro factors you know like the gas gas price is down, so prospects is down. Yeah, you know that that you know that kind of thing. So um, you know I was I was writing about uh, I3 Energy, which had its uh, which had a takeover, uh, you know last month takeover offer around twelve p. And uh, you know the shares before the offer were like eight or nine p, and um, you know the oil price has gone down by like ten percent. Um, but mm. so you know this, if there hadn't been the takeover, it, the shares probably would have been seven percent. But everybody's sort of saying, oh, why wasn't the takeover at twenty p or twenty five p when it where it was last year? You know that kind of thing. So mm. you know you are in a situation where you're sort of damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Um, but um, you know, a takeover is a takeover. That you know, the, the, you know, given this market, it, it's, it's quite a result. So you know, that was, and that is probably the way of looking at it because um, you know, these are these are tough times. And obviously, surprisingly, the oil 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 price is going. You know, is, is weak at the moment, even though we've got some geo geopolitical hell. Um, you know, it's it's only around seventy dollars, and it went towards yeah. sixty five. You know, so makes no sense whatsoever, does it? No, not at all. Not at all. Have a look at Bitcoin because that's done well since the Fed, um, the Fed um, announcement. Um, it has actually. It's a, I, I think it's, it was actually recovering even before that. Gapped higher as well, yeah. touching the two hundred day moving average. Is this it? I don't know how it could gap higher because the market never closes. So how can it gap? Yeah, higher? I know this is probably some. This is like a strange. Uh, you know, it, this is probably doing. You know, like market hours are not not a twenty four hour thing. You know, oh. but uh, looking looking good. It's got my RSI fifty bounce there. So hopefully this time, it'll go through the top of the channel, which it hasn't done for six months. And it's quite a which channel. Is, which, which are your view is what about sixty seven and a half? Can I see there sixty seven? Yeah. 67. Yeah. So say it's sixty eight thousand. You know. Obviously, yeah, I, was yeah. very, I was very keen on the break higher you know, back in July. Yeah, I was, so so we're now at the two hundred day moving average. Is that what that's telling you? Yeah, me? that's right. The black line there is the two hundred day line. 
And then you've also got a bit of resistance, I guess, from the, the 64,000, 64, 65,000 back in mid-August, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. going to have a little, little bit of delay there. But it's, so, it's so if one you get of those... 65, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, though, that if you're, a, you know, you're a fan, so you, if you're a fan of this market, you'd be saying, um, try and get the line on them, we're in the way. Um, but you'd be, you'd be looking for the sort of the big channel here to be, as I'm drawing it there, with the top of the channel, the upper parallel heading for, you know, 90,000, etc. So that's what you're looking for, that this was just a, a consolidation within that channel there from last October. But obviously, the, the problem here was that this is, you know, it's gone on much longer than we would have expected. Probably would have expected March, April, May, and then the, then there was a new leg to the upside, right? And that would have been the logical thing. But you, but you, I mean, if ignoring that 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 larger channel you just put in for a second, no. this says basically sixty. The two hundred day moving average, which is where it's at now. Yeah. Um, then you've got the sort of the sixty five mark, which is where that top was in August. And yeah. then you've got the sixty-eight, and then you've got all-time high rise. There's still quite a lot to go through before it's um, it's in the clear. Yeah, yeah, and and it might just keep uh, going going backwards and forwards between you know fifty-two and sixty-eight, um, you know indefinitely or not, but yeah, for the rest of the year, for instance. Mm, which we'll see. I still I'm still confident it'll go up and we'll get an all-time high. Whether we get to hundred thousand, we'll see. But by the end of the year, but I'm sure it'll go up. All right. Well. Um... I think uh, we've we've exhausted our uh, possibilities today. Unless you've got something else to say, Steve. No, I was just looking at the uh, just looking at the headlines. What do we got? Anything of musical taste? Art Garfunkel. I miss Paul Simon. I'd love to sing again with him. Well, I think he pissed Paul Simon off, didn't he? He should never have left. Well, he should. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were a very, very good duo. You must admit. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, they were. Uh... Although Graceland was a good album. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant, brilliant song that as well. Just brilliant. I and mean, the whole album is a good album. The man is the the man is is brilliant, and he's still hanging on in there, which is the, which is the name. All right, then. Well, we'll enjoy ourselves this week, and we'll talk next week, shall we? See you soon. Bye bye. Cheers. You're watching BizTech Markets.